We all remember high school. Well, most of us do. Harsh bells, crowdy hallways, and terrifying subjects. Well, you're in luck because we're gonna relive every single bit of it in The Sims 4. I've never played the high school expansion pack before because I just started playing The Sims 4 like a few days ago. Don't start with me. But the thing is, we're not leaving high school until we become prom royalty. Yep, that crown is ours. I decided to use a sim that we all know and love, Judith Ward. Okay, so technically we don't, we don't love her, but then yeah, you get the point. You're probably wondering how a sim like Judith, who is at this point clocking 70, is gonna attend high school. We're gonna give her a cute makeover, make her a teen so she can attend high school. So here she is after the makeover, she's looking great, she's looking amazing. But I decided to add a bit of a twist for, you know, drama and plot and whatever. I decided to give Judith a mom. Guys, meet Edna Ward. <laughs> Judith's mom that we never knew existed. I'm gonna edit their family dynamic and I wanna pick supportive. But for the plot, I'm gonna pick strict. Because I want to see how that unfolds. I want to see how Edna bossing Judith around looks, you know? Judith, is she comes off as somebody who has never been told what to do. So that's going to be funny to watch. Now we're in the world. Judith looks great. Her and Edna, they both look great. I was a bit scared because like I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm the best when it comes to creating a sim, but I do spend a lot of time on the create a sim screen. I have no idea why she's running like that. Where is she going anyways? Hold on. She she's still running. She's still running, guys. Okay, she's going to the bathroom to admire fine self. Wow. She's so self-centered. Well, I guess that's what makes her an amazing fit for prom royalty. So I'm looking at her career panel right now and she has school from Monday to Friday and she's an average student and she has class in two days. So they're trying to tell us that we have two days to prep for high school. What are we going to do until then? Let's have her use the toilet. Wait, let's take a panic. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's do that instead. I'm going to take a look at her needs. Okay, her needs are okay. They're doing good. They're doing good. What about Edna? Edna, Edna is asleep guys, Edna, she's fast asleep. I wonder how she knew this was her bed anyways, but then yeah, she's fast asleep. But she's hungry, we're gonna have her eat something when she wakes up though. Where's, where's Judith though? Okay, there she is. She's still running like a maniac guys, and she wants to go to bed, so we're just gonna let her go to bed. I think she wants to sleep on the same bed as Edna. But no, I don't want her to sleep on the same bed as Edna. I'm gonna find her her own bed. Okay, this place is huge. Okay, we're gonna have her sleep here. We're gonna have her sleep here instead. This is gonna be her bed. This is gonna be her bed now. This place is huge. Wow. What what what's this? It's a money vault. Okay, it's a money vault. So I could put my money inside and like lock it up and stuff. Well, that's useless. Money's supposed to be spent. We don't want her turning into like Mr. Krabs or something. Donate to the children's fund? Why? What have children ever done for me? So now she's asleep. We're probably gonna have her do her homework in the morning. Yeah. So Judith just got out of bed and we're gonna have her take a mud bath, you know, to keep her skin rejuvenated and all. Now that she's done with her bath, we're gonna have her do that homework. Guys, I've been looking around and I noticed that this house has everything but a TV. I can't find the TV. Well, I couldn't find any homework in her inventory, so I had to buy one. So we're gonna let her do her homework. And we're gonna have Edna make some food. Judith is still doing her homework. But we need to raise her fun needs soon because she is in need of entertainment and she's hungry too. Now, Edna's done cooking and Judith should be... Okay, Judith is done with her homework, so we're gonna have her grab a serving. So Edna got a phone call that said, Hi there, you don't know me, but I saw you from afar and asked a mutual friend for your number. I hope you don't mind. I'm just, I'm hopelessly attracted to you. I promise I'm chill. Would you like to meet me? Yes, obviously. 
Okay, hold on. Let me check who, who the call came from. Um, hold on. Wait, isn't that Santa Claus? That's Santa Claus. How does Edna know Santa Claus? It's actually him. That's just wild. Let's see if we can invite him over and like make things happen. But hold on, let's send him a flirty selfie real quick. Okay, y'all, our flirty selfie got him flying over real quick from the North Pole. We were able to invite him over. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can make happen. We play our cards right, and we may end up being the next Mrs. Claus. But in this case, the next Mrs. Frost. I'm loving how unbothered she is that Santa Claus is about to be her stepdad. He's asking to move in with us. Of course we'd want him in the house, obviously. <gasps> Wait, what? Santa had 500k sitting in the bank. And he doesn't even work at 9 to 5. Okay, now I definitely want to be like Santa Claus when I grow up. Okay, now everybody's asleep. I'm going to skip all of this. I'm going to fast forward so we can finally start school. Okay, so we finally got the option to go to school. So we're finally at school. I'm trying to figure things out because this place looks too big. And I don't know what she's doing. But we have to pick a locker. I don't know if this locker is claimed already. Okay, it's not claimed. But I'm going to pick this locker instead. So now we're in class. And this cute guy is Sydney Price. Okay, let's see if he wants to go to prom with us. Judith is in desperate need of a mirror right now. Crazy how this is his first time meeting us and he hates us already. Okay, let's see if we can change that terrible impression he has of us. I'm so tired of all these classes, but at least we've confessed to Sydney that he's our crush. That should be the only upside in our relationship with Sydney because talking to him is very, very stressful. Okay, so I'm done with school for the day, so I'm going home. So now that we're home, let's see what Edna and Santa have been up to. Um, oh, wow. Well, today at school was quite draining, so we're just going to have her go straight to bed after dinner. And then we'll probably have her do her homework in the morning. Now, when we said we were going to come back to school, bigger and better, we were not joking. She brought a little friend along and everything. <laughs> so it's our first class of the day. And guess what? We saw this cute guy sitting directly behind us. Now, we're going to see if we could talk to him at lunchtime, you know, get things going. So we're going to sit at his table. He looks like a typical bad boy. He has this bad boy thing going for him. We're going to talk to him a little bit and then we're going to see where that goes. Oh, we were caught skipping class. Wow. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, ma'am, I know you won't believe me, but it ain't my fault, ma'am. Okay, so we're done with school for today and... If you'd ask me, I'd say that the high school expansion pack for The Sims 4 is... It's boring. It has its elements, but then it's still boring. And don't ask me how that ketchup got on her. Anyways, well, Sydney asked us to stay over and we're trying to see if we could plan a hangout with Sydney and our bad boy. You know, have them in the same place and see how this love triangle can, you know, blossom. So we got two of them in the kitchen with us and let's see if we could talk to them, you know? Um, Sydney is more of like a sporty guy, like a jock, and we have Wolfgang, I believe is his name. We never got his name, but our bad boy right here is a typical bad boy. That's what he is. But then we seem to have a better relationship with Wolfgang than Sydney. Sydney just doesn't like us, you know? But, eh? Why is he? Why? What? What the? What? Hey! <laughs> wow wow wait 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 hold on hold on i could report this guy hold on let me report this guy because what where is he yeah we can report they, they have to arrest him they have to do something come on we loved you come on what the heck yo they're not doing anything he's waltzing out of my house just like that? He. You can at least pretend to care, you know? Like, just pretend to care, you know? Nobody's doing anything. You know what? At this point, I'm certain it was all Santa's plan. 
It was all this plan. That 500 grand. That 500 grand. He'd give us the 500 grand, but then in the end, he'd have all our assets. That was, that was it. Ah. How did we not see this coming? We were blinded by love. Well, I guess this is the end of the video. Am I gonna play with the high school years expansion pack again? Yes, but not anytime soon. I need to recover from all of this. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.